Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and today I'll be unboxing the cooler that I'll be using in my Ryzen build, a client build, and this is the Noctua NHU12S with the AMD AIM4 mounting kit. So the reason I got this cooler is that this cooler is basically the only cooler in Indonesia that has the AIM4 bracket ready, uh, except for the coolers that use the AMD stock bracket then obviously those things will fit but in terms of high performance coolers that you know don't per don't cost too much this is one of the only ones that you can get over here right now so let's take a look inside before we see the AM4 mounting kit so here it is uh, inside you see the accessory box which looks pretty nice and it looks like a high quality packaging to me since it's pretty neatly done inside unlike some other coolers which is which looks like the packaging is just an afterthought not sure really done a great job on the packaging it feels really premium and the accessories pack is really heavy so let's take a look at what's inside so over here you can see it's kind of hard to open sure okay that's great so let's see, you get your mounting brackets for Intel I assume, I think, and also you get the, not the AMD mounting brackets for AM3. Obviously I'm going to be using AM4 brackets since it's going to be going on a Ryzen CPU and a very detailed user guide as usual from Noctua, that's to be expected. And I expect nothing less from them since their coolers cost so much for what they offer on performance. Uh, since you know you can get a cooler that performs the same that costs less. Oh, and it's pretty cool that they include some more anti-vibration pads. Even though, as you'll see later, the the fan has the these things already included and installed on it. Over here is the screw set for the cooler and also here is the backplate for the cooler so yeah SecuFirm definitely one of the easiest ones in the market right now so that's absolutely great now here it is the common parts they call they actually give you a tube of NTH1 which is awesome since that's really useful and you can reuse this all over and over since th this this can last a long time this tube is really huge it's basically the retail tube thing too so you can see where they put the money that you spent on the cooler itself since you also get a low noise a low noise adapter and also more wire fan clips you can install a second fan and also some rubber strips for the heat sink it seems and also a Noctua tape badge which would look really cool since you can show everyone that you're a baller and you have a Noctua heatsink. <laughs> and yeah, you also get a screwdriver because why not? Why not, right? You know, other cooler companies should really follow Noctua on this since they really got it in the bag. But I can see how this might increase cost. So I guess it makes sense for them to not fall Noctua. So here it is, the inside of the packaging. Oop, there's the, okay, this is kind of hard to remove. Yep, it's kind of stuck there. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, there, uh, now you can see the fan. Now this is a standard NFF12, so it's a 1500 RPM fan and it's got the brown and tan color which is uh, you know uniquely Noctua they insist on using this color even though a lot of people don't like it I personally think it's quite fine and it could fit uh, some builds if you want to use this color scheme or something like like uh, I think I guess uh, like a camo build usually Noctua fans can fit and I guess we should just take a look at the cooler now which requires us taking out the cooler retention box thing inside. So 
So yeah, here it is. There we go. Yeah, it's really well packaged. They even cushion cushion the back of the cooler because they really don't want any dent fins. And I really don't see any dented fins all over the place. So I guess it works pretty well. So yeah, the heatsink is pretty shiny. And there are heat pipes all over. Specifically, there are five heat pipes. Looks like six millimeter ones. And they're all nickel plated and shiny and it looks gorgeous. It's all Noctua quality as usual. It's perfect. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a pretty cooler in my opinion. Except for the fan is brown so it doesn't really fit most builds. Anyways, here's the bottom. It's yeah, it's quite shiny. You could probably see my phone here. Since yeah, I'm recording with my phone for all these videos. Since I don't really have a good camera. I know it's sad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. So, yeah, the mounting system is using these screws to connect to the bracket that connect to the back plate that's supplied with the cooler. So, yeah, and it's got a braided 4-pin fan connector. Although I don't like that they didn't go all the way to the end and also didn't go all the way to the end on this side. But yeah, I can see they also use the rubber pads here, so not sure why they included extra one. I guess if you lost these, then you can use it. I don't know, I'm not too sure. Yeah, so anyway, that's a cooler. And let's take a look at the AM4 mounting bracket. And I have to I have to say that Noctua really nails it on the presenting part of the packaging since it feels really premium even though it's just a mounting kit with all the foam that's custom cut and also the letter over here that you can read which is pretty nice of them to put something like that and as far as I can tell this is free except for the shipping cost so I had to pay the shipping cost uh, to the shop that sold the cooler since they had this ready so yeah it isn't free for me but it isn't too expensive either so yeah here, this is all the aim for bracket I'm not gonna take them out because they're just gonna go all over the place and get lost so yeah here's the cooler again the fan spins pretty smoothly like all Noctua fans although I will say that the IPPC ones spin more smoothly since those are six phase so the magnet doesn't have that much of a resistance to the fan blade assembly than a four pole one like the like the standard consumer ones like this so yeah but not saying that this fan is bad at all since you know it's not true quality we all know how good their products are so yeah that's pretty much it for this unboxing hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my videos thanks for watching